Hi, this is Jerry Greenfield with another episode of Survival Gardening, and I just like to take a moment to talk about something that's happened recently that's got me a bit ticked off. Now, folks at Scientific Solution advertised their survival seed bank on a national radio show. I don't want to mention any names right now, but got a lot of blowback from people who just claim you don't need non-hybrid seeds to spend that money and just go down to your local Walmart or Kmart or somebody's mart and pick up those little seed packets. They'll bring them home and plant and things are going to turn out just fine. Well, there's several wrong things wrong with that theory. First of all, many of those plants are what are called first generation hybrids. What's going to happen in that is you are going to get some fruits and vegetables. They may not be nearly as nutritious, uh, nearly as flavorful, but you will get fruits and vegetables. And unlike what some other non-hybrid open pollination fans will tell you, you will get seeds. You are going to get seeds in many of these fruits and vegetables. The problem gets to be is when you try to use those seeds to plant your next batch, things get all unreliable, all messed up. Some plants are going to grow fine, Others are going to turn into something like you've never seen before. Some aren't going to come up. Uh, you want reliable seeds that you're going to be able to use over and over again? I recommend the survival seed. You just have to buy it once. These are some green arrow peas here that we got from the survival seed bank. We planted these about a month ago. And as you can see, they're coming up nice and healthy. We're only about a month into this year. And these are going to be good peas. And these are the type of things you get when you use non-hybrid open pollination seeds. It is essential. If you're going to have a sustainable garden for yourself and your family, it is vital that you use non-hybrid open pollination seeds, like those you'll find in the Survival Seed Pack. Thank you. This is Terry Greenfield, and we'll see you again on Survival Garden.